This is the end game and the official launch trailer for Destiny 2 The Final Shape. 10 years. And it's all come down to this. The Avengers end game of Destiny. I hope it's worth it. Oh, the witness. Changing realities. The witness nears the final shape. Dude, look at those graphics. Shaping reality into a perfect stillness. I'm done burying my friends. It's the end of everything. Dude, I love they brought Kate back. Stop it. I love that they brought back the goat. Together. Into the end. This place. It's hard to describe. Oh my gosh, dude. Festering. A sickness. You said it spoke to you. The witness shows us what it thinks we want. It's a lie. Watch it be a Venom cameo. Let us lift the weight of suffering. The veil. Join us. Zavala, please don't do this. Dude, is Zavala gonna turn? Imagine we had to fight the commander himself. Yo, this has definitely gotta be PlayStation money. This looks way too good. Nobody makes my fate but me. Oh my gosh, chills, dude. Oh my god, next week. Let's go. Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel and another trailer reaction. This one, to me, is very special because it is the official launch trailer for Destiny 2 The Final Shape. Now, if you guys have kept up with the channel through the various, you know, kind of changes that we've, you know, had throughout the years of having this channel, we used to cover Destiny quite a bit. There was a time, I know a long time ago, some of you may remember, where we started to dive a bit more into covering Destiny and uh, even after, you know, we stopped doing that, this has still been a game that I have played pretty much daily over the last 10 years, you know, minus a few breaks in between to jump into Elden Ring and games like that. But Destiny has always kind of been my comfort food. It has always been a game that I have, uh, jumped back into and felt right at home. There's so much about this series and this game, this franchise that just pulls me in from its sci-fi elements to its lore, to the characters, to the story, um, and it's all kind of led to this. It has led to Destiny 2, the final shape, uh, the final kind of chapter in what they call the light and darkness saga that is focusing on us confronting the witness, the tormentor of evil, the, the, the big bad of this entire story for the first time. And it's, you know, setting up to be a very huge, huge climactic thing that I hope has a story that I think is going to have us talking for the next, you know, foreseeable future. Now, it starts off in the last city with what I say to be incredible graphics. Uh, I'm going to pause it at a few brief moments because I, I just want to talk about this, guys. Like, I've been playing this game for so long, and it has, it's one of those games that, it, you know, to reach an in-game, it feels very much like, uh, you know, Avengers in a way, right? Where Lightfall, as bad as that story was, really was kind of setting up this big climactic kind of face-off, us against the bad guys. And from all the trailers that we've received over the last couple weeks it has only grown my hype so we get the last city here and we get a look at the people enjoying their lives uh doing their thing obviously right before the witness you know kind of does his dark magic here which clearly looks to be splitting adam splitting reality and the note that you know i just want to preface this by saying these are all my speculations these are all just me showing appreciation for the footage that we got to see in this trailer. I'm not a lore guy. I don't know a lot about, you know, some of the deep interconnected loops of this story. Um, it's just a game I love to play and I love to talk about. So 
obviously you get the last city you can obviously see the witnesses effect taking place on the last city this kind of last vestige of civilization and you can see a lot of people are going to be affected by this a lot of lives are going to be lost unless us the guardians step forward and take the fight to the witness to stop this calamity that's going to happen or what they call i think the uh uh the i forgot what the name of it it's like the yeah it's a catastrophe or something like that i don't know um anyway you get that classic bungee logo which i don't know about you guys anytime i see bungee's logo pop up regardless of the the ebbs and flow of bungee over the years um i always know that that it's gonna cook this trailer i'm about to watch is gonna pop off and so obviously chills you get incredible music score that i think is kind of a remix version of a billy eilish song uh which i think is very like whoever makes the trailers for bungee they know what they're doing and they know how to get the people hyped and they know how to get people excited obviously you see marasov incredible graphics once again uh one of my favorite characters in this series definitely has to be mara obviously Cade, obviously um crow i think is another one of my favorite characters as well in the story and then of course once again we get the witness who every time i see him i just can't help but picture uh kitten i i i don't know what it is uh it just doesn't seem like a villain it, it, he's a villain that both seems very ominous and one that i cannot take seriously i don't know what it is i don't know what he's covering with this mask um if that's just to add to the ominous nature of his appearance but uh you know it's i get mixed feelings every time i see the witness I, i'm so curious to see and find out exactly who he is and and what he is uh this is obviously i think zavala right his first time in the pale heart which is the new destination that we'll be jumping into in destiny and we get a front row seat at him coming as close as i think many have probably ever gotten to the traveler which i think is incredible and i think i want to say just shortly behind it you see some pyramids in the back or, or perhaps those are mount oh it looks like those are just mountains but um him rising over the last city i think this actually might be the spot that zavala has spent over the last <laughs> damn near decade uh when you go to the the tower and you could see him kind of sitting out and and staring and looking out over the last city and obviously this might be an image of what we saw at the end of one of the seasons where you see the traveler rising up into the sky before the witness kind of enters it no pun intended so um yeah this is a pretty cool moment and i i really i kind of I, I dig it man like again some of the you have to give it to De to Bungie. You know they they do such a great job at creating such strong visuals. I think when it comes to uh, their CGI and their trailers, uh, and I think really when Bungie is has their backs against the wall, I truly believe this is when you're going to get the best content from them. I, I I have a strong feeling this might be Forsaken level content that we're about to experience in this. Then you get to another scene. You're seeing. Ikora, obviously she's side by side with Crow, talking to Cade. Uh, it seems like they're all potentially in the pale heart at this point in the story. Uh, I'm assuming these are this is a cutscene, right? That we'll get in the game where you'll see you'll, we'll be sitting. Obviously, is our character. Um, there's obviously Zavala, Crow, uh, Cade, you know, and and Ikora all sitting around the fire trying to figure out exactly, probably processing seeing Cade again for the first time potentially crow explaining how this is even possible and then us as the traveler uh, as usual with very little to say um still a cool scene and one that i'm excited to experience in the game when we jump in uh next week but it's it's pretty dope it's pretty dope uh i also have to say i'm so excited that they got nathan Fillion back to play Cade to reprise his role as Cade. i think Cade was a, a fan favorite for a lot of people whether you were hunter main or not I think a lot of people really resonated with the character, really loved his his kind of can do attitude, uh, his kind of, you know, his kind of uh, nuanced uh, persona. And there was so much to appreciate about it. One thing I didn't catch in the trailer um, when I saw it the first time that I'm just now catching is this piece of cloth that we're seeing is actually, I believe, a piece of Cade's uh, cloak. Uh, so obviously this is a part in the story before before Zavala enters into the pale heart that you know he's thinking about his old friend as they go you know before he obviously you know encounters him once again which which I think is pretty dope that's something that I did not witness before and obviously you have Kaikora 
uh, who potentially is, you know, uh, following suit in his pursuit of the Pale Heart. You see Zavala go into the Pale Heart for the first time, heading inside the Traveler into this new world that we've yet to see. And we've gotten so many glimpses at it over the time. Uh, we've gotten so many glimpses of the you know pale heart and what we can expect through images that bungie has delivered to us and this is kind of the first time we're actually getting a glimpse inside uh in cutscene form of this and i want to say that this image here is potentially our journey into the pale heart we're probably going to enter into the portal we're probably going to crash land which may be that ship that we see is uh you know other guardians that have potentially tried to enter and maybe failed or something like that and this is probably we're probably going to be entered into a jumping puzzle or something like that where we have to traverse into uh getting into the pale heart which is probably going to open up to this beautiful landscape this vista green lush area that you know will be our kind of introduction to this new social space or this new kind of uh landscape that we'll be able to explore so moving on from there guys um you then get a look at Crow, the Traveler, what I believe to be the last city, uh, all right here, which I think is a pretty cool. I don't know. I just I, th I think some of these shots, man, are, are so cool. I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. Um, let's go. We'll go half speed. Um, obviously, you're seeing once again, you're seeing Zavala. You're seeing Crow here. Then you get a look at Zavala looking out at what I'm assuming is um, obviously a pyramid ship here. A bunch of other stuff i don't know some of this stuff let me know if there's something that stands out to you guys that i potentially have missed but again incredible cutscenes, images of some of our favorite characters finally joining the fight and i think this is what gave me chills in this trailer uh the most was not just the epic animation and the incredible cgi that we're seeing here but it's just the fact of knowing that after 10 years of playing this game and going through Destiny and Destiny 2, that we're finally going to get to see some of our favorite characters potentially join the fight and jump into the fray. And it's something I've wanted to see for a long time. All of these big climactic moments have happened over the last decade. And it feels like none of the big leaders of the group, aka the Vanguard, have ever jumped in to really help outside of uh, kind of, I think, the initial story. Uh, in Destiny 2, the Destiny 2 Vanilla, we got the first, tr you know, mission where we actually saw uh, Zavala pop a bubble and protect some of the citizens and kind of help us against this this surprise attack that we got against Gull. And and then I think you see it again in the Witch Queen, where you actually see Ikora, you know, use some of her powers to open a doorway to give us an, an in into taking on Sabathun. But outside of those moments, there have been very few moments where we actually feel like we got to fight alongside our heroes. So I'm hoping in this mission or in this campaign, we'll actually get to see and be on, you know, see some of our favorite characters on screen like a Korra, Crow or Cade or any of these other guys as we potentially get to fight alongside them. That That's one of my biggest hopes, something I'm hoping to see, but I guess we'll we'll have to wait until next week to find that out for sure. Uh, another thing we see here, I believe this is uh, we already saw this last week, but this is a strike a new strike that we're going to be getting in the game that i'm that from what they said in the bungee vidoc is actually going to be a one of the hardest strikes if not the hardest strike we have ever encountered in destiny history um so i'm excited to see a new strike added i hope it's not the only one that we get i mean it'd be nice to see at least two new strikes uh, i think strikes have been something that have been kind of omitted over the last couple years that i think uh, are a big part of destiny's identity and i think that they should you know it, it will be nice to see them incorporate and, and and kind of dive into to more strikes as an opportunity to potentially expand the lore even further but we'll see i'm excited to jump into that moving on from there obviously you see this really cool image of uh you know ghost kind of getting corrupted i still don't know what's going on with that it's something we saw at the end of the lightfall campaign that i'm hoping will be something that we'll get a glimpse of in the next uh in the next story as well but we'll see Obviously, Cade being as badass as ever, Zavala potentially being corrupted by the witness, uh, being tempted and teased by what he has lost all these years as being a guardian, uh, being the family that he once had that I guess has been lost. Um, and the witness is kind of teasing that. And you can kind of see this. This is probably one of the coolest shots is kind of seeing him being take, potentially taken over. Um, and I don't know if that would lead to Zavala being the final boss. Or us having to make the ultimate sacrifice and take out the leader of the Vanguard as he's been corrupted by the witness. I think that would be really cool. I think that's something that this expansion desperately needs. You don't call it something like the final shape 
without having some finality and potentially moments in which uh, sacrifices are made and, and lives are lost, even if those are the lives of characters that we've come to know for a long time. I think that kind of gut punch is exactly what's going to leave a lasting impression for a lot of the fan base. You know, I think if everybody just goes in, fights and defeats the witness in the raid and then just moves on with the next, you know, whatever's next to come. I think, yeah, there's a chance that could still lead to a really good story, but I also worry that that is going to ultimately leave people feeling like uh, there was a little bit more that they could have done, but only time will tell. We'll see. It would still be cool, in my opinion, if we got to fight Zavala, uh, you know, in, in the story. Next thing we're seeing is potentially, I don't know if, if you know, Kate is standing over his body, um, which I think is actually... I think it actually is his body or if he's standing over the body of Cade before he was resurrected. I'm pretty sure it's his body based on the gloves that the glove that we're seeing that's popping out on the side here. Um, maybe he's remembering how he died or, or his his final moments or something like that. So that'll be really interesting. Again, really excited to see Cade back. I think any scene that we get with him is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, moving on from there, obviously, we get, you know, Zavala being tempted by the witness. You see the veil popping in. I love this shot, this kind of moment of potential um, corruption for Zavala, I think is going to be huge with the story. We haven't seen anything that that sh that highlighted this much detail about Zavala uh, up until now. So the fact that we're getting a launch trailer and it's showing a lot about Zavala gives me a lot of confidence that he's going to be a big part of this story. And I hope that that's the case. I really do. I think he's I think he's a really strong character. And I just I, I hope we can see a little bit more of him. Uh, in the future then obviously we're seeing more of the witness more of that corruption more of that that fighting we're seeing everybody kind of run for their lives which is pretty huge um i'm curious very curious to see what what crow is running towards in this moment um but again this could be this could be kind of that moment where they realize that they potentially have you know kind of overestimated their own abilities and potentially underestimated the, the abilities of, of the witness and, and and potentially how strong the witness actually is um so again it's going to be really cool to see all of our characters jump into the fray and fight uh one thing I'm, i've always been bitter about is as someone that has primarily played as a warlock through much of destiny i you know i dabble in the other classes for sure play little titan sometimes i'll play hunter as well but i always have noticed that hunters have always gotten the coolest cutscenes, the coolest moments of flashy flair where they really get to showcase just how badass they are and i wish that warlocks and titans got that kind of same treatment uh, i think it's ironic too that some of my favorite characters some of the coolest characters i feel like in this entire franchise are all hunters um you know whether that be Cade, obviously or crow um you know or you look at someone like elsie elsie bray um all of these characters are hunters and and they all have some of the coolest cutscenes in destiny's history so obviously seeing crow pop a goldie is pretty sick um, and again, I'm hoping that potentially this is a look at the raid. We still haven't seen much about the raid. I'm assuming they're going to drop a raid trailer or something about it, uh, potentially closer after the launch of the game, uh, of the expansion. But again, that's going to be something we're going to have to wait and see outside of that, a cool, really, uh, epic moment where I think they're fighting some of the, uh, the scorn, uh, you see a awesome side-by-side -side fight with Cade and Crow, which I think is something that is both really cool for the story and I think a great amount of fan service. I think fans have really wanted to see these two face off ever since that whole thing happened in Forsaken. So to see them kind of put their differences aside, obviously Crow's a new, you know, kind of a new man, if you will, and, and fight alongside each other is so dope. So, so dope. So I can't wait to see that. Very excited about that. Obviously, Giant Vex, Korra, Ikora getting hit, uh, maybe getting rezzed. I don't know, Cade giving probably one of the coolest one-liners in Destiny history with his broken kind of Ace of Spades. I, I would love to see if this become a skin. I would love uh, an ornament for this Ace of Spades. I really hope that that's a thing uh, because that looks insane where the light is kind of bleeding out of this reforged kind of uh, Ace of Spades. Kind of, a, I think it's called Kintsugi where you kind of, you know, something is broken, but you reforge it and it becomes stronger than uh than it was before which i think is is awesome uh, i think in this moment you are seeing ikora get rezzed uh, an epic kind of epic uh kind of conclusion to this trailer as well is i think 
getting that glimpse that Ikora is going to be in the fight and she's going to be throwing hands in this trailer. And she pops a Nova, uh, you know, even though it's not that strong, it's fine. And that's it. So, guys, uh, as you can see, I'm very excited about the final shape. I'm very excited about this trailer. I think it was awesome. Uh, super excited to see what the story has in store for us in just seven days. I cannot wait. Uh, it's been a long time coming. We This was originally supposed to drop in February. So we've had to wait potentially, uh, I think, a little almost four months uh, additional for this. So I'm really hoping and, and from what we see, it definitely looks like it is going to be worth the wait. But let me know what you guys thought of this trailer. If you're playing Destiny or you're a fan of this series, let me know how excited you are. Uh, or if you're going to be jumping back into the game after taking a break. Uh, I'm super excited. Definitely going to be doing some grinding this week and in, in preparation for the final shape so that we, we are fully ready to take on the witness and his forces. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As always, my name is that guy, Rye. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.